Good morning, Pisces. This is your weekly read, first in January. Spirit gives true precise messages for Pisces, please, for the week. Divine feminine energy. And divine masculine energy. Thank you. Be sure and like, subscribe, share on your Facebook to get help the channel to grow. As you know, the energies are fluid. So if one situation doesn't resonate, perhaps flip it and see if the other side does. If it doesn't resonate at all, then it's just not a message for you today. You know that genders are irrelevant when I say divine masculine and divine feminine. It's the energy within each of us, not gender. And if you would like a personal read, I still have a few spots for next week. You can send me an email, sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com. All right, so let's get started. Spirit gives true precise messages for the recent past. Pisces. And their counterpart, please, recent past. Current energies for... Pisces, please, this week. Thank you. <clears throat> Your future energies for the Piscean watching this video. Oops. And give me the near future for the counterpart that they deal with. Your divine counterpart, please, in the near future. Thank you. Let's look at the career sector for Pisces. Spirit. messages do you feel you need to be aware of and work on? <clears throat> messages from spirits. For Pisces. <clears throat> What we got here for the overall divine feminine energy is a beautiful energy. Number 10, completion. But a completion and an ending. This is you and your inner self. This is your friend's card. It's like you found your best friend. You. You are. You've had your transformation, perhaps death and rebirth of the soul. You're coming into union with self. Understanding yourself, knowing yourself better of who you truly are meant to be to the world around you what your gift and purpose is perhaps even but this is friends it's your best friend for some it could even be your divine counterpart that mirrors you the other half of your soul especially in the twin connection right the twin connection is about the soul that was an atom that split in half right and each of those halves went into two different bodies and when they reincarnated to earth, therefore half a soul in each. That they come together, they unite as one again. Friends, best friends. Like you've known them forever. Number 12 that breaks to a three, who's gone is the divine masculine energy still going for a transformation. Again, this is an energy in each of us. The divine masculine energy is transforming, going through a depth and a rebirth in each of us, some at different time frames, some at different levels, but on a mass majority, currently we have a mass awakening occurring, people's kundalini being activated um, to start their awakening process. And, and the many in the uh, collective are going through the masculine energy death, um, transforming that side of them. 
bringing light to the dark within them. In their re recent, in your recent past, okay, perhaps in the way you used to be, the way you used to see things before you transformed, before you found this enlightenment and to move forward, you were greedy, perhaps, for of drums. This is your coins, your earthly possessions. This man is clinging to them as if that's what makes him who he is. And it's a faulty foundation for your fountain. Your money may pay your bills, it may feed your family, but money does not create who you are. It doesn't represent who you are or what you're about. And it certainly should not be clung to as if it were life itself. And this created uh, in the past a faulty foundation which had to come crumbling down and spirit spent, probably sent you tower after tower trying to get you to see, to release the material possessions and your, your focus on money um, in the way you think about your earthly possessions regarding your stability. You're wearing a mask as well in the recent past. Five of swords change. You looked in the mirror, saw what you didn't like or you didn't like what you saw. The, you saw that you were someone different and you didn't even know who you were because over here you were this person, over there you were acting like that person. It's like you were wearing multiple masks, hiding the true self. And now, in the recent past, you've had that uh, aha moment with a new beginning. Spirit's giving you the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Crystals, giving you that ta-da! <laughs> right? You received that realization that you didn't have to be this person, these multiple masks. That you could actually be your true self and everyone will love you unconditionally. And if not, those that are on the high vibration, those that are vibrating on the level that you are on, your divine counterpart will certainly under unconditionally love you. Okay? Your counterpart uh, recently uh, Went through a tower moment. It was um, seen by many. This tower moment, uh, yes, everybody noticed the change, the things that occurred. The tower moment was almost a public display, I'm hearing. And six of wands, six of bones, getting to the bones of the matter, seeing, seeing things, making things bigger than they were meant to be, trying to portray a pebble as a mountain in your life many excuses using these little stumbling blocks or these little things that you come up against as excuses to not move forward but you've had a death and a rebirth of the soul you've transformed this is a 10 an ending to the old way a ending of the zombie earthly life right you've transformed and you're ready to spread your wings and fly in this new colorful way and celebrate your life celebrate you <coughs> Actually, this actually is your power part. Sorry, I got caught up in the transmission of the channel. <laughs> in your career sector, page of pentacles, knight of swords, and hangman. I don't know why my voice is, this feels like it's going or something here. Page of pentacles, putting the work in, working on you, yourself, not looking back. See how his head's turned like, I'm not looking back. I'm not going back because I like what I feel. I like what I see. And that's the direction I'm moving. That's awesome energy, really. It's uh, this energy I feel right on this card as well. That his smile on his face, gleeful. Look at and that's the look of here. He sees what the riches that are abound for him, that are promised to him from divine to move forward, embrace his new self, his new journey, his sole purpose, to bring blossoms into his life. This is prayer. Moving forward, Knight of Swords, cutting things out, the BS, things that no longer serve you, finally realizing and listening to those synchronicities that Spirit sends their way, making them catapult and move and run. All of a sudden you've received, like we said, that aha, that lightning moment that said, oh my gosh, I'm not meant to be in this matrix, this low vibrational job anymore, uh, some big box store or whatever it is. And you see that you need to move forward and work on pentacles, work on your soul purpose in your mission, and you, boom, you catapult out of there, following the guidance of spirit. Hey, man, here is now you see things from a different perspective, a higher perspective, the way spirit wanted you to see them after all. 
before you perhaps you were refusing to see them the way spirit wanted the things that wanted to because you were too caught up in all of this energy right but and now you've gained that clarity to see things from the higher perspective of how to move forward wisdom you've now gained that wisdom from the higher perspective universal law learning sharing you are going within regarding your universal law your planetary alignments the energy you're, you found yourself here in this channel as well but you're doing the work to see what all this means to you in your journey do the vision quest and go with it <coughs> sorry um, so that you can move forward 33 is a very divine number it's a three and three um, is body mind and soul and learning to balance those and share your story with others share your lesson with others but most of all share because with the collective so they too can learn from where you were at and help them along their journey as well here we have the stone of the ancestors versus know that your ancestors are beside you some in the collective and i've seen this card here before it change it's about five it's a change um, your ancestors someone has a elderly woman here perhaps either a mother or elderly mother or a grandmother figure um, guiding them in from the other side okay this is a, a mother or grandmother that's passed on um, guiding them for their highest good guide, giving them the guidance for to make the right choice they were making the wrong choices holding themselves in the low vibration because things in their childhood perhaps held them back and that uh, life did not fit you anymore it's like a shoe that uh, no longer fits and you need to get a new pair right you need to move forward it doesn't matter if it was your favorite set of shoes you need to get rid of them. I don't know why that example is there but it is all right so make the right choice and your ancestors are all around you to help you to guide you all right if you speak to them they are also sending you signs and synchronicities and they want you to know that they are proud of you of and they are celebrating your new uh, awareness your new uh, enlightenment snow moons long snow moons forward movement contemplation you've contemplated long enough spirit says we have sent you so many <laughs> i'm getting uh, almost a sarcasm for my spirit guide and which is odd because he doesn't usually get sarcasm but they have given you spirit says they have given you so many signs and synchronicities to move forward in deliberation make deliberate moves towards your purpose towards your soul purpose there's a nine it's a near completion the time has run out um not for you but for the toxicity in your life the lessons that you are with uh, a situation whatever that be for you it could be person place or thing it reminds me of the karmic energy that you've learned the lessons that needed to be learned from that and it's don't torture yourself don't keep replaying that karmic lesson over and over make deliberate moves and move forward spirit has said they've been sending you messages and synchronicity like i said um, and you have contemplated this long enough you know what these messages were but you were denying it spirit says you knew that they that you were seeing synchronicities and things around you and that it meant something perhaps you've even heard your ancestors in your dreams or intuitively or maybe you've just been thinking about them a lot um, maybe you've seen something from your past or childhood or something that reminded you of it that was there to give you that aha moment but make deliberate steps to move forward and just get rolled in the same message over and over so let's move on okay serpent Ooh. okay a couple stories here with this one um one kundalini for some kundalini awakening i'm going to jump to the other one right away though um, because that's more um that a icky i don't know that's the word an icky energy from this that there was a devil or a very snake energy that that was coming between the divine counterpart whether this is you or not meant for you like i said there's more than one story on this card right now i'm getting that for a small group or even just a very few but someone is stuck in a situation where the snake energy was dividing a divine counterpart 
someone that needed to come into union together for the good of the universe uh, that was divinely guided and something is being uh, keeping them apart and someone is tantalizing them seducing them with um, fruits of, not fruits of their labor fruits um, forbidden fruits um, kind of like forbidden fruits uh, seducing them maybe with sexual energy um, but it's something to do with forbidden fruit needless to say um, it was prohibiting you from reaching fruition your goals your purpose um, everything that was meant for you from the divine um, through magic for some of you they were be using magic or black magic even to inhibit you from a very dark snake energy not that snakes are bad just saying um, you know energy wise it represents a very evil spawn of Satan energy in this right now for that select few okay it was keeping you from the luck of these clovers to the acorns in your life that were meant for you keeping you divided not only with your divine counterpart but perhaps even your own soul you or yourself you felt pulled apart from this uh, energy but for others of you let's move to the other group the larger group right um the serpent here is in between um uh, and yes there are forbidden fruits to be aware of spirit will be testing you regarding a divine counterpart um with other maybe soulmates instead of the divine counterpart you will receive tests you will receive that um uh, forbidden fruit things that will tantalize you per se but to know what's best for your highest good listen to your spirit guides sent to your ancestors for the other group right like we said there's one one group on this one card let me get into the uh, lighter energy because the other energy was uh, pulling stronger for some of you it's kundalini awakening you're realizing uh, you, maybe your sacral chakra uh, you're having uh, issues with your sacral chakra or you're feeling ill to your stomach this could be the activation of your kundalini and it's um, been activated so your sacral chakra perhaps is very much activated also um, at this time and you as it works its way up through the uh, solar plexus um, region you will be nauseous perhaps um, but know that the kundalini has been activated for uh, many of you um, in regards to your awakening process it takes a long time some few you know months some uh years depends on where you're at in your journey but right now because of the highest vibration or the higher sorry the higher vibration that the universe is going into many are awakening at a much faster rate than what did say the last 10 years okay some of us took 10 years to get to this point um, that we're at others are waking up um, in those 10 years within a month or two to give you an example all right let's move forward bell awakening again about the awakening energy what did we say and I hadn't even read that yet but all about growth but it's also saying something about planting trees people need to plant more trees because of the uh, devastation um, going through mother earth is going through she's crying uh, out for you to spend more time in nature um, but trees are much needed at this time that many are dying off many are, many are being taken away um it's like there's a yeah she's being violated <laughs> mother earth a lot of uh natural disasters now especially right now with the australia uh, thing we have earthquakes right so mother earth is feeling all those natural disasters so I'm getting the energy for peace uh, these are uh, really the valleys and we have musical um, notes here which I've never noticed before but um, for some okay the music yeah listen to the wind in the leaves of the air or trees my bad uh, and it's like music it should be music to your ears the sound of the whist whistling of the wind in the trees is like music to your ears so that resonates with them for your highest good spirit says go in nature um and 
meditate in nature. Holy stone is um, protected. Know that you are divinely protected. Yes, there is spiritual warfare going on in the other dimensions, in the other realms. You are protected by the divine. You are chosen when you are like a golden child. Golden. Um, but know that spirit is guiding you through the portals that in which you need to be going through, these transitions you're going through, you are divinely protected. Let's look at the main energy here for you. Okay, so we have a king of or sorry, a knight of swords coming forward in truth. Again, this is your energy for this coming week. That someone's coming towards you with a message or you're going to be delivering a message either way it's going to be very much in, like a um uh, <laughs> i want to say like a magical bomb coming into someone lighting up their sword of truth showing them they need to move they need to move now being encouraged a lot of i'm also seeing more uh, not to get off topic but um, a tornado in the background and uh, tidal waves of water here so maybe with the earthquakes it'll cause a tidal maybe like mudslides maybe it's not so much a tidal wave it's more like like flooding of waters but this um, bomb of energy coming to light the sword of truth that he's delivering perhaps it'll feel like a bomb maybe it'll feel like a tower moment to you but it's going to be divine truth that he needed to speak to you he or she or it's, this is going to happen to you yourself to someone, right? Nine, Knight of Swords coming forward rapidly with truth. This may, don't shoot the messenger. I'm hearing some of you may not want to hear this message that he's bringing, but you may not be ready to hear this truth, but know it's for your highest good. Six of Cups, it'll bring you balance, it'll blossom, and it'll be for your highest good in the long run so that you can move forward, so you can um, move forward um, and heal. Um, this reminds me of like uh, this woman and her inner child um, and the inner child looks like she's all hugging herself almost like like she's been harmed or, or uh, assaulted or something the way this woman in the boat sitting um, reminds me of that so this is, this truth that's coming will bring balance for your highest good but perhaps it's going to shatter you a little that's going to bring illuminate the shadow side of something a truth that was kept from you but it's much needed so you can move forward so that you can both move forward page of swords again about that truth you're holding it thinking about it i'm getting a hermit feel out of this card but you're moving forward and again you're on your own again this woman here is moving forward with her inner child woman here inner child maybe a little older so perhaps things this uh, event is going to trigger something from when you were like five or six perhaps it's going to trigger some of you from when you were you know a young teenager but know that it's time to move forward and heal yourself from the inside out that inner child right so you can move forward and heal thank you near future please and you get the ace of cups putting the work in putting an end number 10 putting an end to the self-sabotage and stabbing you in the back as well all those people that gossiped and um, sent hate your way or uh, caused harm blocked you from your prosperity blocked you from moving forward also see three-party situation as we know we got a lot of those readings three-party situations in this collective in December um, Right? It's like the pink elephant in the room. We're going to address it because it's in the card. Um, and I do see it here. Yes, it did cause you a lot of pain. You felt... Um, sad, uh, stab in the back. Uh, not disrespect. But disloyal, of course, but... I can't think of the word I want. Anyway. And if it it's meant to come out spread will give it back to me it's right down the tip of my tongue <laughs> uh ten of swords though and ending to self-sabotage and allowing others to hurt you as well especially regarding three-party situations you're putting the work in and so perhaps even your counterpart you feel changed to this passionate uh connection that's been weighing down weighing on your heart but you are putting the work in even if it is but in no i'm sorry and spirit says and spirit is putting work towards this as well behind the scenes even if you don't see it speaking of seeing it ace of course you see it now you've been enlightened you woke your third eye filling your own cup with that love self-nurturing coming into union with self great job 
divine couples, divine collective. <laughs> All right, and your counterpart also putting down the burdens, putting down the Ten of Wands, laying down the burdens from the past. Um, because he's looking towards the past carrying these burdens, right? And he's not going that way. We need to move forward. These other two people, him, moving forward. So he, these are burdens from the past regarding a very divine counterpart, uh, connection rather. Uh, and he's laying down those burdens so he can move forward. Page of Pentacles, putting the work in, wanting to make a peace offering um, from within his heart space this is a very green energy which is heart chakra and the peacock here is all about inner beauty so he is seeing the inner beauty uh shining his love unconditional love from himself from inner beauty wants to give a peace offering and as a king of cups king of cups holding and nurturing himself here and ready to offer that love or that ace of cups um, when the time is right and he realizes that it is all about divine timing um, and he wants that growth, but he realizes that it's about timing, you know, about spiritual timing, not his timing. He's resting there with this funny grin on his face, like, yep, I'm here when, when spirit says move, I'm ready now. I'm finally ready. I did the work. And he wants the divine counterparts to know I've done the work. All right. Clarification, please, sir, on the present. And also clarification for the near future and for the counterparts near future also. reading too more than I wanted <laughs> but that's spirit if you ask for one he'll give you two all right knight of swords clarifying with spiritualist five all about change he's been seeing spirit has shown him perhaps he's seen spirits um in his uh it actually free be uh, like in his dreams these people someone has come to him and awakened him given him the aha moment uh, for some, there was like a tidal wave of emotion that came over them when they received this. But now they know they had to change, and now they need to speak their truth. Six of Cups about balance. You're ready to take that leap of faith forward, or you are, uh, since this is your your energy or current energy rather this week. Six of Swords, and they are moving forward. Remember, Warrior of Blades, cutting things out that no longer serve them, getting back on the horse, ready to move forward again. And Page of Swords, moving forward, um, healing themselves, pregnancy here for some, but regarding a stability, they are birthing stability, they are birthing something that's going to bring them stability, a new beginning, and for some you either expect to be pregnant or someone in your environment may be pregnant. Okay, regarding the your near future with the Swords, the three of pentacles and ten of pentacles right so um, yeah there was a battle and it was regarding the shadow self shadow issues uh, number nine uh, near completion or yeah near completion of this shadow self side that you've seen it you've embraced it you've released it to the ethers regarding the things that were battling up against you you've cut out toxic people in your life because you've had the faith in spirit now number eight and you're ready to move forward to your um, ace of cups stars knowing that there's the spirit uh, is guiding you uh, signs and synchronicities but also the light of the stars are guiding you in your journey your partner or counterpart has okay spirit says start over here the scout be on the lookout for wolf in sheep's clothing um Number four, this is jeopardizing your, this in the near future may jeopardize your stability. So be on the lookout for wolf and sheep clothing, okay? 
and spirit is going to give you signs and synchronicities, signals. Uh, pay attention. It's going to be regarding. Did the was there a snake card? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's that serpent top card. Sign. Uh, spirit's going to give you signs and synchronicities so that you know what this wolf in sheep's clothing is. So pay attention to the signs around you, and you will. Uh, spirit. And this is your counterpart. I'm sorry. Um, strength. They will need strength, but spirit will be there for them. Yes, this is all about, well, I was going to say vision quest, but it's already here. All right, so smudging ceremony goes well with a vision quest, right? Because we take the sage out into nature. The smudging ceremony, you light the sage um, and sit and meditate, and it allows spirit to speak to you regarding a journey in which you find what is my soul purpose, what is my mission, what do I do from here, and um, how to get back on track with life what you're meant to be for some maybe you did fall off the horse and it's time to get back on you fall off the path that was meant for you when you reincarnated to earth but it's time to get back on track go through a smudging ceremony be your own storyteller about your connection about this divine connection part of your spiritual uh, journey may be a youtube channel or a book or a po poetry perhaps write a song about your journey, about this divine connection. And go within as a vision quest again. Go out in nature. Um, and appreciate the nature, the world around us. Appreciate your freedom. Freedom is not free. It costs people their lives to allow us in, in the U.S. to have the freedom to just go outside and roam um, and appreciate what we have in this country. And for those not in the U.S., they still may have freedom, but still, go outside. Appreciate the nature around you. Fourth house, for those of you, uh, we have said, uh, I think yesterday in the main message, general collective message, um, to get uh, like a chart done maybe or a printout of your house's placements so you can um, learn better of how all these um, planet alignments are affecting you currently um, and that will help you and also if you visit the YouTube channel Water Baby Tara she does a lot of explanation um, much better than I can so uh, if you watch her channel she'll explain with the house placements and how they're affecting you with the planetary alignments alright fourth house roots no, a com completion to the old way of doing things, the old way of seeing things. Um, you're uprooting your old belief systems. You're uprooting the way you were raised. No longer serves you. The way your family, you know, the world in itself is already different than it was, you know, ten, you know, several centuries ago when you were, you know, born or reincarnated here. So. You can't go by the way your parents or grandparents um, believed in the rooted system of things. They're religious. They were programmed by society, by the government, more or less, not to be conspiracy. But Spirit's still saying, uproot those old belief systems. They're not um, for you. That You need to um, embrace the um, belief system that is meant for you. You are an earth angel. You were meant here for a purpose, a soul purpose, and it's time to get in the mission and move forward. Signs and synchronicities, again, are all around you. Um, and check out your fourth house. Earth element number 11, stability. This is all about your stability and also the stability of Mother Earth and herself. Uh, again, raising the vibration of Earth, a lot of... Uh, a lot of devastation coming probably this year. A lot of uh, natural disasters coming to Earth this year. I don't know if I'd say coming to Earth, but happening on Earth this year. Um, so it may affect people's stability. It may um, affect their workplace and their home lives, right? So uh, go in nature again and be grounded. It's all around. 
Libra, balance. Again, a number 10 card. That was 11. Number 10. 10, 11, 10. Uh, balance things out regarding your connection with your spirit guides, with yourself, with your inner child. And spirit says Saturn, be in your truth. Six of all things. Listen to your spirit guides and be in truth with yourself and with your spirit. And advice of what you need to work on. Spirit, what do they need to work on? Oh. I usually pull them from the top, but these keep popping up, so. Stop. <laughs> you don't get any more than the other people. <laughs> I've got two, two uh, twos and two ones and a seven. So if you put them together, it'd be 22 and 11. Having mental conflict with yourself, this is self-sabotage. Spirit wants you to come out of conflict with self. Listen, embrace the friends card there. The energy of the friends card. Embrace your inner self. Be friends to yourself. Be friends with those around you in the way that vibrate um, at the same frequency. Those in the collective for clarity as well. Spiritual union, yes, you are in a spiritual and a divine uh, union or connection, and it is divinely protected. Let's see, Spirit wants this one back over here. Prosperity brings unity as well, and unity brings prosperity. You can't have one, you won't have one without the other. This will bear fruit when you come into union. Also, Spirit says to work on your crown chakra, Pisces, that um, balance your crown chakra that's slightly above your head. Um, indigo, usually, I like in color. Crown chakra number seven. All right. And new vitality. You're going to feel a vibrant light. And look at all the colors here and in this as well. See how colorful that is. New vitality, which you're going to be this week um, very much seeing the light. All right, this is what I have for you. I hope you have a blessed week.